artists, this is a quick tutorial on how to get squares and strips out of a piece of copy paper so that you can do my snowflake, 3D snowflake uh, videos number one and two. First we're going to fold our paper as kids say, hamburger style. So the fat side. Then we're going to open it up. We've made a crease down the middle. You'll take the point of one of the long ends and match this straight edge to the line you just made in the middle. Once you get it matched, hold it with your fingers and fold with your thumbs. You're going to do the same thing with this opposite corner. Bring that up to that line, and then hold it, slide your thumbs, fan out. At this point, I find it helpful to take a pencil and trace this edge very lightly. So I'm just going to run the pencil whoops, right along that edge, and then I unfold this side of the paper. Okay, now I've got my cut lines. I'll start with the pencil edge. This upper part is for video number two. That's the woven snowflake. And then these will become the two squares. For video number one, which is the snowflake that has the loops. So there you go. If you didn't get uh, in the in the video number one and two, I believe I described the paper that I handed out at school that has fold lines copied into them, and it has the little rainbow uh, that I describe in the video. You don't actually have to have those lines. If you watch the video a few times, you can figure out the folding for snowflake number one. Fold corner to corner, then go on the hypotenuse of this right triangle and fold one tip of the hypotenuse to the other tip of the hypotenuse. And then do that again. You have a new right triangle, and here's your hypotenuse. You're gonna take the tip of the hypotenuse to the tip of the other hypotenuse, and then as I describe in that video, just hold that tight folded end, not the three, and you'll cut off this corner. And then you're gonna flip it around and you'll cut in two rainbow type lines and open it up. So you don't actually need the lines that I drew in class and handed out. You could do this on your own just fine. And then you start gluing. And watch that video number one for all the other instructions. So two of these and then one of these becomes the 12 strips for your woven snowflake. So that's how to get those out of a piece of copy paper. And again, this is the entire waste of this project. It's amazing use of resources. Have fun making your snowflakes.